Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Monday, December 8th, 2014. Well, the big uh, announcement on Friday, of course, was the jobs report for November. And, you know, I guess it was pretty good. So I, get, I think more people are working. I'm not so sure that they're real happy with how much money they're making. And, you know, there's really a lot of openings. I, I mean... Really, and we'll find out today, or is it no tomorrow with the Jolts report, which is the job opening. Um, that should be interesting. I have a feeling that there are a lot of openings, but I think that companies are really picky about who they're hiring, especially for the uh, higher paid jobs or the jobs that have more, I don't know, company visibility or importance or something. Either that or people aren't willing to work for the amount of money that is being paid. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe the Jolts report will give us some insight into that. But for today, there's really nothing as far as uh, market moving planned announcements are concerned. Okay, so here we have the big Dow 18,000 beckons, but no bottom in sight for oil. And we'll see that today as we look at the current price for a barrel but while we're waiting to do that let's move over to Asia Asia is mixed and Europe is bearish sort of surprisingly but you know maybe we're taking a rest today that could be the reason for it and there is some uh, interesting news in here you may want to take a look at and then there's there's always Putin right the guy never looks happy he never looks happy. Maybe he's just cold or something. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, enough about that. Let's move along here and see if we can run through this quickly. Let's take a look at last week. Uh, net, we were uh, losers last week. This is the LinkedIn 50 Delta that didn't work out. And this is the SPX trade, which was the 20 Delta where we put in a limit order to get us out at 20 cents after we collected 70. So our net on that was $50, which I was pretty happy with. Yeah, I could, you know, have hung in there, but I just let it <laughs> let let it uh, go, I guess you could say. Isn't there a song like that? No, I don't even want to get into that. Okay, um... So that's it. That is not on my blog as of the time of this recording, but while my video is uploading, I will make sure that it ends up on the blog if you're interested in a copy of this. All right, uh, over here, it looks like we might be opening in a bearish direction. Gold is at 11.95 below the 1200 mark that we managed to get above last week. And oil is at 64.75 losing a whopping dollar overnight. I um uh, just uh the price of gas keeps coming down. I'm happy cuz um let's see in a month and a half be heading down to Florida, so I hope it's still suppressed at that time because that'll save me a lot of money. Because that's about what well, else? Four tanks of gas, and you're talking about an 18 or 20 gallon tanks, so that would save me a lot of money. Almost might be almost half of what it was last year. But this is uh, interesting here with the dollar is up to almost 90 at 89.49. And the euro US dollar pair is at a dollar twenty two five. So that's pretty low. So I um, whipped up a chart here I thought it might be interesting to take a look at. This is a, a ten year chart on the dollar, comparing it to the S P five hundred. I'm not really interested in seeing these. I thought I had those shut off. Uh, let's see here. I can shut them off temporarily. There. So 
so this is what it looks like. And I was trying to draw some sort of correlation. Maybe, you know, the 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 way the dollar is moving. The high over this ten years was ninety two fifty three. Looks like uh, we're headed towards that. It's going to be interesting to see if we can hit it. But looking at since July, it's just been kind of on a tear and gaining strength incredibly fast, although not as fast as back here in uh, 2008, towards the end of the year. This was These were some big moves. This is a monthly chart. And, and seeing uh, bars like this, this long, is uh, slightly disconcerting. Why it does that, like here, for this month, huge green bar, and then the very next month, a huge red bar. Same thing here. Um, I don't know actually what that means, because it just really recently started sort of following the dollar uh, just because you know all the videos that are out and stuff like that about the coming deflation and then inflation so I'm curious to see if there's any signs that are going to come from this if that forecast come true so anyway I think that's probably enough about that since I don't really know what the heck it is I'm talking about <laughs> Okay, uh, and then we the open position that we have is on NDX, and I do have an order in here, um, which is to close this order to buy it back for thirty cents once it gets down to there. Not sure exactly where it's at yet. It might be kind of close to that, to tell you the truth. I, one way we can tell that is to take a look here uh, at the NDX. Uh, we're at about 50% right now. And it looks like as though it's going to bump down at the open. And that's okay. I don't know that it's going to actually lose $81. I guess we'll see. But for right now, it's not looking too bad. We're at 74 bucks profit. So we'll just kind of hang in there on that one. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at... I did take a look at last week, okay. Um, I think right now we're ready to do the A-plus list. And it's getting sync here. Here's Apple. Start us out. Target down here. Uh, waiting. For an entry, but uh, we're looking at this is a uh, bullish entry, and I'm afraid Apple might be rolling over here. I'm taking that off of there, if you don't mind. Uh, a little bit choppy here, uh, pretty sloppy looking. Um, just uh, we have breaks in here and that we can't deal with that. At least that's not the way things are supposed to work for us. So we're taking a pass on Apple for right now. Amazon. Uh, Amazon, we're in a downtrend, so I'm gonna throw a target in up here. Let's see if we can come up there and catch it. I don't understand what all these inside wicks here, like this one on this particular candle. I don't understand that. Uh, we're still in the same release. They haven't put a mini release or any sort of fix out. So we're still at 1866.26 and we've been there for quite a while. Uh, let's take a look at Boeing. Boeing, I think that we are in what looks like so we had failure here. Failure to launch, I guess you could say. I'm not real excited about this. 
third day weakness. Not, could not get above the previous high and stay above it. I actually closed down it pretty significantly off of the high from that day. So I'm taking a pass on this. Remove this target. And let's just forget about Boeing for right now. Alibaba, we're just going to take a look and see what he's doing here. Yeah, not ready for prime time yet, I don't think. We could do a... What if we had done... Um, a bearish trade here. We got our confirmation on Friday and we could have gotten in here. Let me I'm throw an arrow up here just to uh, take a look. Let me throw an arrow. I'll throw it over here. And let's change the orientation to uh, that. All right, so I'm saying we're in a downtrend. We have a double red after at least getting above 70 here. Let's say we entered, worst case, right here at the low of the day, basically. And we'll see what happens um, if we would have entered there. Baidu. Okay, we're looking at a bearish entry up here as well. I sort of doubt looking at today's market that this is going to come up there and give us an entry. It could give us a 20 delta though. And I say that because it's in a pretty strong downtrend and any sort of little flag, a two day flag would be best, but any sort of flag that might signal an entry uh, would make me pretty happy. So, um, I don't know. It may be coming back, but we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it for today. Chipotle, uh, still, yeah, we're still, it's still in a state of confusion here. Costco, and we do have earnings coming up on Costco, actually this week. On 1210. So I'm going to take a look to see, uh, yes, it looks like it's going to give us a $3 move. If we were to do an iron condor outside of that $3 move, looks like it might be promising because if we're doing something, say, at a roughly 20 delta, stock's at 143, 146, maybe we go move here to this particular level here. We get 13 cent credit and say we get that on both ends. So that's $13 and that's $2.50 in commissions. Of course we could always bump this up to 149. It only gives us 14 cents. Wow. Looks like they got this one figured out. It's not going to give us anything, is it? I think you have to probably go a little bit tighter. That would be much more interesting. See, they got this worked out. So if we go to 146, and we, we would wait until the day of earnings. So let's, uh, But if we go to 146 on one side, let me finish my thought here. And 140 on the other side. That's 17 cents. Uh, no, i got to go over here, otherwise I can't do both of them. I can, but I have to make special accommodations. Okay, 140 on this side. That's 17 cents. And 146 on this side. That's 22 cents. Uh, does it help if we stretch this out a little bit? Mm, yeah, I mean, if you really have that much confidence, 
you could stretch this out here you could make this a total of 62 cents with a five dollar sixty two dollars five dollars commissions uh, and then what you're shooting for of course is uh, total collapse in IV which will bump, pump, pump the white line up a lot so uh, we're looking at here yeah this could be an interesting trade I think we might be taking a look at this later on in the week. Let's go back to the chart here. And it says 1210 before market opens. So we would have to do this tomorrow. So let me write that down here. Cost call, earnings play. Uh, 12.9. And we're going to do an iron condor and see how it works out. We'll do a simulated one and we'll just see how it works out. I think IV probably should move up a little bit. Right now uh, these strikes that we're looking at are... Uh, well I'll take a picture of this later and then we'll see how it compares. Okay? It should be fun. Uh, but we will do it probably at around market close tomorrow say around 3.30 or so we'll put this on and hopefully um, we'll have a nice uh, pop in IV between now and tomorrow and then we'll put the trade on and then IV will collapse and we will like that or else so that's December we're looking at yeah about seven percentage points, maybe more, drop in IV. And that one would probably quickly pay off. Or, if it moves outside the shorts, lose. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on, take a look at the Dow. We were at a new high, and then she backed off on Friday. Don't know how to interpret that. Okay, so I know that there's a lot of drawings here. Don't notify me again. Okay. There. Here's gold. Choppy. Choppy, choppy. Uh, Google. Oh, well, look what we have here on Google. Why didn't I see this? I must have been sleeping. Oh, we didn't quite get up to our target here. Uh, this would have been a sweet little 20 delta to do on Friday. Uh, it just uh, might end up chasing that one at this time. This is LinkedIn. That hurt us. So let's take all the drawings out of here don't need to have this anymore uh, so that was not nice to us at all uh, it's a little bit too flat and a little bit too the price is consolidating too much here for me to be interested in a 50 delta anymore well especially I mean getting burnt that doesn't help either here's our uh, 20 delta on NDX that's going to expire this Friday. This is our iron condor that is going to expire a regular December expiration. This is a simulated iron condor. And this is the limit order. Remember when we uh, marked this? Okay, so I'm going to mark this today. Hang on a second. Okay, so this is where our calculated uh, point where, um, uh, based on volatility and the Greeks, where this could end up executing, price would have to move up to this particular level right here, which is 43.63.3 approximately. So that's what it's telling us right now. 
So I put here today's date. This was the way it looked on Friday and it's moved down to here and it's going to progress further as time wears on. Hopefully. If IV doesn't increase. If IV increases then this will move back up. Okay. Netflix. We also, do we have an iron condor simulated iron condor on this particular one, too? Um, do we have... We actually had an entry here for a 50 Delta. We didn't do it. I'm kind of glad we didn't, I guess, in retrospect. Don't remember if I made a judgment call on this or not. Was this on our list last week? Let me check here. Yes, it was. It had an alert on it. Uh, yeah, okay, it's coming back to me now. Alert triggered. Came and took a look at it, and it was moving back up. So, just kind of took a pass on it. So, that's the idea behind, you know, just being cool here. And... Don't get overly excited about being able to get in on a trade. So we took a pass on this on Friday. Priceline. Got some simulated trades I need to clean up. Okay, we're moving up towards our mark here. So we're going to be patient and wait for that. Let's take a look at the Russell. Still a little bit too choppy for my taste. Too much price consolidation in here. SPX going to give us another chance to get in, maybe? Uh, yeah, see? Okay. Um, buy to close at 20 cents. So there it was. We got it executed and right away in the morning. I was pleasantly surprised. And so now we're out of that. Take the money and run, I guess you might say. So that helped to um, soften the blow on the LinkedIn trade. And then Tesla, we're waiting for it to come up and hit our target here. Could we do a 20 delta? Well, we could have done a 20 delta here. Just because we got a little bit of a flag pull and then a little bit of a flag. Not as big of a flag as we would like. And then last but not least is Visa, which is back on a big tear. And we have a target set down here and it's uh, maybe a while to wait for that. So uh, anyway, that's it for today. I apologize for the length, but there's a couple extra things that I threw in there and some simulated trades that we took a look at, especially with Costco's earnings coming up. So that could be interesting. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.